today we were heading to the National Trust Threve Estate and Gardens. And I'm a member of National Trust Scotland, so it was free to get in. Nice big car park and uh, the dogs are in a hurry to get going. And someone's just tried to wrap herself around a tree. Oh, and there's hundreds of snowdrops here. According to the map, that's the old stable buildings. They've been converted, but I um, can't hear any horses, but sounds like a lot of pigeons live here now. Oh, we've got a statue of a fox hiding in amongst the trees and looking at all those pretty snowdrops again but there's also another statue of a fox on the other side sat next to a bench and a gravelly path to the water garden um, obviously everything's all died off now but i would imagine it's lovely in the summer And other than the lady at the reception desk, uh, that's the first two people I've seen since I got here. Come on you two, you're all getting tangled up again. says there's workmen in the world garden but we can go in for a look. No Ted, it's a hammer not a toy. Uh, looks like they're making new retaining brick walls for the borders. And other than the trees around the edges this side is pretty much empty. Uh, there's another side we'll go and have a look at now. Oh, this one's got a few more veggies and things growing, um, but obviously still early in the season. And when they say a murder of crows, they're not kidding, the noise that they're making. And then you two, let's go and have a look what this is. It says it's a statue of Saint Francis. And uh, we've got some of my favourite rhododendrons there that are just coming into flower. And that's Threve House, but it's not open to the public at the moment. Sorry for the spin, that's uh, Lolly again. What you see, was that a rabbit? And apparently this is the rock garden and if we walk down through that arch, it's the garden of contemplation, I think. My little map got rather wet and soggy, so um, I'm not sure. Now this isn't the Garden of Contemplation, I think that's around the corner. 
and according to the plaque on the wall here it looks out over onto the gatehouse of fleet and we've got some really teeny weeny looking daffodils i'm not sure what flowers they are but they look like a daffodil in miniature and now we found the garden of contemplation let's go and have a look at that They seem to like elm um, statues here. Come on, you two. Oh, this is nice and very peaceful. Only I won't be able to show you much more because my battery's just about to die. So, favourite park up tonight, uh, lay by on the side of Clattering Shores Lock. And first stop this morning is the hide at the Red Deer Range. I guess the general idea is you can watch them without being noticed, but that doesn't really work, seeing as um, as soon as a car comes into the car park, they know that there's a visitor that might be bringing goodies. Ted making a noise. Hello, gorgeous. They're not frightened. Uh, plenty of people seem to be feeding them carrots. Um, I've got a carrot, so I shall give him a carrot in a minute. But uh, they keep turning around every time they hear the dog barking. Wet and muddy. Hello. Hello. Yes, it's the dog. But he's not coming after you. Don't worry. He's not coming for you. No. Is that good? You've munched it all, haven't you? And I've got a little bit of footage here that I captured in 2023, um, which was later in the year when the deers actually had their antlers. So just down the road from the Red Deer Range is the Wild Goat Park. Now watch carefully because this isn't a photo, you'll see the foot move. I think it's a staring contest. And there's quite a few actually feeding just on the hillside here today. 
but um, this is my favourite goat. He's much more fun. He's um, he's actually been going along picking up the carrots that people have chucked in for them, popping them back through the fence for you to refeed him. Just watch, I'll show you. Clearly a little game he likes to play, so of course I'm going to have to oblige and uh, pick up the carrot. And guess what, the goat on the hillside, well, he's still having a staring contest and hasn't moved. And no, this isn't a photo, it is a video. Oh, you do move. Well, we've got a bit of nice weather today, making the most of it to uh, Grey Mare's Tail Waterfall, which is only a short walk from the car park. There is a longer walk up to the Black Lock, and it's not to be confused with Grey Mare's Tail at Moffat. And it leads up to Murray's Monument, which most of you will know was a personal achievement I did last year. Sorry it's a bit jittery, Ted got rather excited when he saw a squirrel running along. The walk up to Murray's Monument is well worth the effort and there's some stunning views. I've left Lily in the car because there's quite a scramble to get up at the end and I would have to pick her up. So it's Murray's monument, but who was Alexander Murray? Well, he was a shepherd boy. He was born and worked in a cottage just opposite where the monument was built. But through his studies, he qualified and became an esteemed professor of Oriental Languages at Edinburgh University. And the obelisk monument was designed by Edinburgh lawyer John Parker and built in 1835. And there's a rocky scramble at the end but uh, we're at the top and this is Murray's monument. With some ominous black clouds on the other side of the valley I think it's time we made our way down. Not only is the blue sky gone, but it's starting to rain. And we parked up at the Glen of the Bar viewpoint on the Queensway, the A712. But unfortunately, the viewing platform is closed for inspection. And so next morning, we paid a return visit to Glen Truel. It's a wet morning, so we drove down to the car park for Bruce's Stone and did the walk from there. It's uh, got several information boards telling you about the woods and about the battle at the steps of Troll.
Little Lolly just got surprised by two people eating their sandwiches and a big dog. And unlike yesterday at Murray's Monument, today it's very, very wet. Good boy, Ted. Not the grass. already subscribed to the channel please click the sub button as it will help the channel grow and if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and see you next time